Hi, thanks for visiting our website, NoCondosHere.com. My name is Robert Palmerton, and I am a land and business owner in the St. Elmo Heights industrial area. I would like to take the next few minutes and explain to you what is going on and where the new condos are being proposed for our neighborhood and why myself and other business owners do not support the zoning change from light industrial to mixed use for St. Elmo Market and Lofts. Okay, I wanted to take a minute and show you exactly where the layout of the proposed uh, St. Elmo Market and Lofts would be. This is about nine acres, and you see that this is South Congress, this is industrial, we have Ben White, and I-35 will be over here. This is the developer's conceptual drawing. What they're proposing is four to six hundred condominiums here. They, the amount has changed a little bit, so I'm not exactly sure how many. They're talking about doing a market here with artisans, uh, coffee shop, restaurant. This is going to be an 80-room boutique hotel. This will be a parking garage, and this is going to be some sort of an entertainment venue. The first concern that myself and other business owners have is we're concerned about the traffic here. As you see right here, they have one driveway that feeds out to South Congress. They have one that feeds out to Industrial Boulevard. And they're talking about putting another one over here at Willow Springs. We have a hard enough time getting our crews out in the morning. We feel that adding another eight to 900 cars that could potentially dump out here in the morning is just going to uh, make an incredible bottleneck. South Congress, like many roads in Austin, is busy as can be. And the traffic backs up from Ben White down to Stastny and sometimes as far as William Cannon. Along with the traffic issues that we have here, we are concerned about the 18-wheelers that many of us bring into the neighborhood. The roads are not very big to begin with, and we struggle getting the trucks in and out as it is. Right here is Brazos Wood Products. When they back up to the loading dock, the cab of the truck actually takes up one lane of industrial. We understand that. They put orange cones around it where all are safe and drive around it. Down here on these two manufacturing uh, businesses, depending on the skill of the driver, sometimes St. Elmo will just be shut down for two to four minutes while they're trying to back in. Again, the roads are not that wide. Industrial is also a cut through to St. Elmo that will take you out to I-35. This allows you to circumvent the uh, access road corner of Ben White and I-35 and be able to jump on 35 going south. One of the issues that we have here is this is about the only artery that can get you up if you want to go north and west. So we figure that the additional traffic is just going to really create a bad bottleneck here. Austin is known as a high-tech city. In Austin, we design chips, we write software, we write apps. But not everybody is going to be in the high-tech industry. Some of us are going to be plumbers, electricians, carpenters, and welders. You can see from this map that we do not have all that much industrial property. The purple is what is the industrial area. This is the area that we're talking about. I can understand why the developers would be very interested to put condos and apartments here because it's becoming Central South Austin. You've got Ben White and you've got I-35 here. This area being industrial, this supports the trades in Austin. We have AC distributors and part suppliers. We have uh, automotive suppliers. We've got plumbing supplies. We've got two concrete plants, a steel distributor, and the list goes on and on. These are the people that support fixing the air conditioners for the software designers and the plumbers who fix the plumbing for the app writers. We feel that if this zoning change is allowed, that we're going to end up getting the domino effect through the area. As you can tell here, we have uh, warehouses that are backing up straight to the residential just right as they have shown over here. We have concerns that it will be just like what has happened to the entertainment district downtown with the music. 
we have a very great live music venues here in Austin and we put apartments and condos downtown and not a week goes by that you can't hear somebody complaining about the music's too loud, it goes too late, the revelers on the, on the, on the streets and whatnot. We're concerned we're going to have the same thing here. This being an industrial area, if somebody's busy and needs to start work at 6 o'clock on Sunday morning, you know, is that going to wake up the residents? Are we going to end up starting having complaints? There is a paint company over here. Are people going to start complaining about the chemicals and being close to the residential area? And we feel that over time, we could end up getting curfews on, you know, when we can work, when the trucks can go. This area supports an awful lot of businesses and an awful lot of jobs. My company, I have 45 employees. Almost everybody has a spouse. That gives you about 90, 90 people. Add another 40 for the kids. And now we have about 130 people that are dependent on my business and the paychecks it brings in. This is just one business in the whole neighborhood. We're afraid over time that we will get pushed out and we could have the potential loss of thousands of jobs. We are asking that you take the time and email the council members in Mayor Leffingwell and tell them not and ask them not to support the zoning change for St. Elmo Market and Lofts. Right now, the city staff is not uh, supporting this, and I would like to read what they had to say. In summary, the staff does not re recommend the applicant's request for the following reasons. The property is adjacent to existing heavy commercial and industrial uses and zoning. New residential development adjacent and in close proximity to industrial uses, operations, and corresponding truck traffic creates a land use compatibility and does not promote an orderly relationship among land uses or the public health, safety, and welfare. It would be an undesirable precedent for other properties in the neighborhood or within other areas of the city. Please, take the time, send an email to the mayor, to the city council members, ask them not to support this. Don't allow the zoning change to go. Thank you.